Paperboy News hit it deliver y'all that daily report. Now Snoopy Badass finally responded back to TC from Avalon and the accusations that he placed on him. So let's get straight to it. Now Snoopy claims the story that TC said was far from the truth, but the only reason that people ran with it on social media is because they all hate him. And he said the first lie that TC said was when he seen him in the holding tank, he had his jerry curls. And Snoopy said for anybody that knew him since day one, knew that he didn't have no jerry curls in 2005. And he said matter of fact, the first time he got a jerry curl was around 2017 slash 2018. Then Snoopy says the second lie that TC said was when he seen him in the holding tank, he slapped him. And Snoopy said that's impossible because if TC claims that he snitched on him, they wouldn't put them both in the same holding tank. Then he says if I snitched on you and you slapped me, then how come they didn't present that in court? And how come it isn't written in their transcripts? And Snoopy says the reason why is because he's making all of those up. And Snoopy said TC knows that he didn't touch him and he didn't snitch on him. But the only reason he's saying that is because Alex Alonzo promised him that if he said that, he'll help him on his case. That's what Snoopy said, now it makes sense to me on why TC switched his story saying that Snoopy tried to help him out on his case. So now the reason he's locked up this long is cause Snoopy snitched on him. And Snoopy said when TC switched up his story and said that Snoopy snitched on him, Alex Alonzo felt the pressure because TC kept his end of the bargain. So now he has to fulfill his part of the deal by trying to get TC out. But Snoopy said that backfired on him because TC just recently lost on his appeal. And he said nobody's to blame in this situation but TC because he felt so guilty about taking Snoopy's best friend's life that he admitted to it. And Snoopy said instead of making things worse for TC, he helped him out by saying, he didn't shoot at me, even though he did. And he said Alex Alonzo and them just selected politicking cause according to Snoopy, before that case, TC was PC'd up because he got charged with child endangerment. And he said since Street TV and everybody else is talking about him in his case, how come they're not speaking on that? And Snoopy told TC, there comes a time in a man's life where he takes accountability. And he said, since you've been locked up for these many years, you haven't learned anything. And Snoopy said when he ran into him in LA County, he was holding a Bible talking about he changed his life and he gave his life to the Lord. So where's all this tough gangster talk coming from? And Snoopy said TC's a fool for thinking that he was gonna get parole or get out for a crime that he openly admitted to a cold-blooded homie. But Snoopy said either way it goes, he cared less. But he can't put that blame on him because he didn't get subpoenaed to go to court. And he said the reason why is because the court didn't need him because TC already admitted to everything. And Snoopy said he can't wait to get a hold of that police report because Snoopy said his homie Worm was trying to help out TC's cousin who already got shot. But I guess TC thought it was him and ended up taking his life. And Snoopy said when that happened, he broke. And when the police asked him what happened, he said all he heard was shots and he broke. And when they asked him for the description of the shooter, Snoopy claims that he gave a bogus description. And Snoopy said when he gets a hold of that police report, he's gonna show it to the public so they can see the description he gave so they'll understand that it was a BS story and the description didn't match up with TC. So now that you guys heard what Snoopy said, y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section. It's Paperboy News Stand. Y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there. Count.